comes up, we feel the grip, and then Andres rolls away from that grip. And then, how can we, uh, stay, stay, be strong, boys. It's good exercise. Um, for Jesse, think about Jesse, how can he stay strong? He's definitely not gonna stay strong if his left elbow, say his left elbow touched the mat. And no, 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 please, go the other way. Left elbow on the mat, Jesse. If, if his left elbow's on the mat, and Andres circles to Andres's left. No, 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 you don't have to go and knuckle block. Just, just, yeah. How hard is it for Jesse, go back in front. How hard is it for Jesse to put his right horn up? Come on, you don't even have to knuckle block it. It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. You don't even have to, don't even push it down. Just grab his hip, or his pipe, <coughs> and pull yourself around. It's so hard for your horn to be worth anything. It's not worth anything. So Jesse starts to learn, I've got to stay on my hands. That's why I'm adamant about you guys not going to your elbows. And one of the problems in jiu-jitsu is they defend chokes on their elbows. They're, they're turtling. This is bad. If you're in an MMA fight and you're doing this, you're getting, you're about, the fight's about to be stopped. Okay, the fight's about to be stopped. So. We don't even want to go there. If, if you get hit in the head hard enough that makes you go retreat into turtling, the fight's probably over. You are seriously hurt and you are mentally broken and the fight should probably be stopped. Now you could argue, maybe you do it for a few seconds. I can, I can imagine that. Like it's just, you gotta do it. You're just like, oh my God. And then you get that voice in your head that says, I don't want to lose. And then you fight. That's okay, if, that, if that's what happens, that's what happens. I'm, I know that real fighting is difficult and it's hard sometimes and you're gonna violate my rules, right? Which my rule is, don't be on your elbows. If you're on your elbows, you might as well pull guard, okay? So, Jesse's on his hand, now look at the horn when he goes to the side. The horn's strong and Andres feels it. He feels how strong the horn is. Circles the other way. And he runs into a nice strong horn. Drop the elbow and notice how the horn changes. See that? Okay, so stay up on our hands. Now we're gonna do, again, what I call the accelerated horn drill. Accelerated just means we're gonna be moving. So uh, Jesse's not stationary. When, when Andres goes to one side, Andres is gonna continue to circle as he goes into a horn. He'll continue to circle and Jesse will circle to face him. This is great for Jesse's skills. He's posting on his hand. He has a solid base on his knees. Remember, don't bring your knees together. Keep the knees wide, not too wide, but wide enough so you don't fall. Like if Jesse puts his knees together, as you circle Andres, he'll probably fall to his butt. You see that? So you widen up your knees and then Andres continues to circle into the horn. And Jesse right now is just gonna move away. He's not going into attack mode. He's just following you. He's saying, you're not going behind me. Andres then says, all right, quick move. Switch the other direction. And Jesse does the same thing in this direction. Andres helps him out by circling into the horn. Then Andres circles, but he doesn't go into the horn very long. Go to the other side, go to the other way, and then keep going. And then he goes back the other way. And this is going to challenge Jesse. This is what a real fight is like when you're in this situation. Go ahead. You, you, you sometimes try to beat his horn by breaking it. We call that break, breaking the horn, guys, real quick. What is breaking the horn? Breaking the horn is Andres circling into the horn and breaking it off. Okay, that's called breaking the horn. He tries to break the horn, not with a full fight. Just get a butt drag on now get up by drag with your left hand. There you go. And now he's turning, and he switches direction. And then maybe butt drags that side. Hand on the head, hand on the head, Andres. Good, and switch. And Jesse's under here doing all the grunt work. But you know what this grunt work does for Jesse? It turns him into a beast. <laughs> like, when you're underneath there, and you can weather those storms of somebody sprawling on you, and just pushing on your head, and pulling on your thigh or your butt, or your ankle, it, 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 there's some uh, inside 
big time will heart that gets developed the, a different muscle and um, you can call it cojones you can call it the mind it, it develops from being under there a long time so get with your partner we're just going to do a minute and then switch back and forth on the minute drill but be a good top person sometimes go into the horn sometimes touch it and go away you can even do a little juke move if you want and fake them out the guy underneath should never let you go behind. He should be like facing you, putting the horn up, putting the horn up. Oh, oh, turn, 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 turn. Go the other way. And all you're doing is just turning. Sure, sometimes a foot will come up, but for right now, mostly just be on your knees and turn, turn, and then put the horn up when you need to. Okay, let's go, one, two, three. One minute drill. You need this. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. See how, see how before he was moving sideways? Now I got him certain. That's better. I still don't like when you go down. And when you do this, every time you lower your level, you're, you're getting weak. You're getting closer to those elbows. Okay? Keep your arms strong. Keep your, yourself tall. The taller, the better. Uh, the more extended, the weaker. The more you hit here, the better. Now, obviously, there comes a diminishing returns point. That's when you're about right here. When you get to here, you're doing horn drill. There's too much weight on your legs. You can't turn anymore. Okay? The guy will run behind you. Or he'll cross face you and knock you over to your butt. So I want to be... Uh, something... Go ahead, Sprawl. Something like this when he spins, put my horn up. See, I, I kind of stay, I don't let him break my horn. Keep going into it. I don't want him to break my horn. So I stay, keep him out in front. But you see how tall I am? Go ahead, keep going. Go the other way. Keep, go the other way. Yeah, make it, make it a little fun now. You know, I'm pretty, I'm decent at this throw. I'm always keeping this guy in front. You guys see it? But I never, go ahead, Sprawl. I never go like this. What's that hand doing? I never go like here, because now he's he gonna break my horn. He'll, he'll break that horn. So I gotta come up into this position. Uh, let me mention this detail. Your head, connect to the guy's body. See my head? Connected. So if he's pushing on my head, and my head is far, your horn's weak. Get your head in here, he can push on my head now. But my head's connected at all times. So that later on when we go single leg or strong, or our head rolls out, we're gonna have double leg, we'll have those. Our head needs to be connected. Okay? Let's go. One, two, three. Made me fart, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> no.